Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and I'm just going to give you a quick update on the um, situation where um, yesterday I did a video about millions of people being deported as of today, which is Sunday the 23rd of June. Apparently it's now been put on pause for two weeks. Trump has said, um, you know, there's some reason why they're going to put it on pause. Now my guess is, is that he should not have tweeted and let it out of the bag that the ICE were going to be deporting millions of people this week. Because what's happened now is that people are on notice and people are afraid and they don't want to come out of their houses and they're locked inside their houses and they're absolutely petrified. The same way Trump let it out of the bag that the NHS was on the table for trade when he wasn't supposed to say that. There are certain things that you keep to yourself because now he's compromised the operation. You know, people are absolutely petrified. Now, I, I believe that it's not only, apparently there's, I think, 2,000 that they have who have, um, haven't have attended the court hearing or the court was supposed to give them an order to leave and they didn't turn up for the court hearing. So those are the 2,000 they're going for first. I also think that they'll probably be going for the parents who've made applications for da under DACA, you know, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, because they will have that information. If they've wanted to um, be with their children and have filled up an application or filled the application for their children, because they would have had to give their information, they could be vulnerable too. So... Um, I don't know if it's really on pause or whether it's a smoke screen to stop people from worrying. But apparently um, at the moment they're giving it a two week reprieve to allegedly look to see what else they can do because it's causing an uproar. They reckon that people shouldn't be living in terror. But the funny thing is, is that these people who are living here in illegally. Don't they know that they're not supposed to be here? Um, or are not here in America or anywhere. So I guess they found themselves in a situation where they probably have been in the country undocumented for a while. They're afraid to go back to their country because they haven't got anything. They might not have any money here. I don't know the circumstances, but the way these people are absolutely terrified, there has to be something really, really wrong with the process. Because if the thought of having to go back to their country is so terrible, it must be really, really sad. My heart goes out to them, really. I mean, it's fine to be hard and say, look, they shouldn't be here in the first place. They shouldn't have come over. They shouldn't have broken the law. We can all um, announce and be self-righteous. But not let him who is without sin class the first stone. Because we have all done something wrong. Maybe not something so bad as being, you know, staying, overstaying and doing that illegally. I mean, the stress alone for them living in that way must be enough punishment without the threat of deportation hanging over their heads. Anyway, like I said, it's been paused for two weeks. We'll have to see what's going to happen. Is what's going to happen. I'm going to keep my ears to the ground and keep you posted. So subscribe if you're interested in this topic. Share and like. Bye-bye.